for off the starters. I preferred Lilat on the I starters, like, actually. I like Lilat. I think Lilat's good in this game. The and they fixed Lilat in this recent patch. The thing about Town and City is the stage itself is so big, so massive. It's hard to kill a lot of characters on that yeah, stage. I hate that stage as a starter. I like the Lilat a lot, and I don't like Kalos either because it's just FD 2.0. With two little edges at the side. Yeah, I think I think uh, the Genesis bet was perfect. But anyways, we're getting right on the bird. Basically Paradox. 0 to 82. But that's fine for Incineroar. He can make that up really quickly. It's just he has to play patiently and like choose his spots. He has to make sure he's getting his combos. If he gets a down throw, he needs to get max damage. Or if he gets a down throw, uh, max damage. Um, he's really Ooh. good at edge guarding as well. Like Lariat is super good versus Inkling. So he, he just has to calm down and uh Does Lariat beat um Roller? Yeah. It should. But Roller is disjointed, so it might not. Yeah. And now even though you see the percents and the stock being down, Incineroar could kill with a of with a tipper F smash or a couple more throws. Like I think a back throw at ledge might kill. Or like a revenge up throw or something. Revenge up throw? Yeah. Well, right now we're not we're too worried about that because uh, he's kind of getting the beaten. Yeah, and see there there is Paradox actually showing his presence off stage, which is really good. He didn't get the edge guard there. Okay, we're just gonna okay, get spiked. Up <laughs> and so obviously you have to be careful because you could get up B spiked. And Burr is really good at just like knowing that he'll grab it so he doesn't like waste side B or anything, or his jump. But uh, Paradox did do good like before dying putting himself out there even though it missed because now Burr knows okay at least he's gonna actually put himself out there Ooh, Ooh he's gonna revenge, revenge. That, that is gonna be a little meaty he's not gonna die that did but he's 70 at damage oh he's dead and we're getting back thrown and all of a sudden Burr oh he was at 30 Burr. and got hit twice and died Burr playing the fire cat yep that's uh that's incinerator for you buddy a warmed up Oh, and he's just going to keep doing it to him. Yeah. I think he needs to realize that Paradox doesn't really know how to deal with it and just abuse it. Start abusing it. Yeah, start abusing it. Okay, it's just so like, oh, he should dead. die. Yep. Instant dead. And now it's doable to bring back. I mean, he did like a 0 to 83 at the first stock. Uh, Paradox just has to keep his calm, but Burr's doing really well. He might run off Lariat. Nope. Lariat? Yep. That's fine. It'll take 12%. Um, well, he's not going to want to take that. He's not going to want to take a throw. That's going to be a lot of damage. Lariat again. Good. Missing the combo there, but he's still fine so far. And he should live. Yeah. Prop PI. Yeah. We're in the blast zone. Okay. Burge is moving right now. Oh, he might die. Up throw. throw. Mm, that's going to kill. He had okay. no DI, though. So I know on the upward angles and downward angles, like moves that send you straight up or straight down, it's hard to DI very efficiently on them. So yeah, you only have you a tiny know. window. Because uh, no, almost no move in the game sends it completely 90. Because if they did, it wouldn't matter what side you pick. But if, let's say, up throw sends at, like, 85, it means you have the DI left and not right. Or facing whatever, yeah. facing DI away from, uh, you get what I'm saying. I know what you mean, man. Yeah. But uh, no DI there. I don't think it would have mattered because they did buff it slightly. But uh, who knows? Hey. It might have. Okay, they're saying that that buff didn't matter. Dog, come on. Better recovery. Another kill throw. Everything matters. Like I don't think the recovery matters. Hey, but man. the kill throw does. It helps. He kind of needs it. Well, it puts him in a better spot on the tier list with the recovery chain, though. Yeah, slightly. Slightly. Not not a whole lot. But I think, I mean, he's such a gimmick. I think they should have just kept his recovery so he could have down throw up B. Oh, he, he had the read on that. Just slightly missing. And... Paradox is really good at like baiting out these air dodges and then punishing more. And that's something Burr has to be very careful about. He's either revenging or air dodging out of every single up throw. And he's going to get punished really hard for that. And I think he just avoided the F smash with inkling up tilt. Or dash. Dash into up tilt. Because it does uh, low profile. Or like high profile, I guess. Okay, so we're getting a little mini spike. Didn't know he had that. Yeah. Well, you know what might be killing that the left right now? It can be now? really strong. Ooh, unfortunately it's going to be... Yeah, and see, that's, that's the thing. Like... The recovery is still pretty poor. Pretty poor indeed. DI in there on the down throw for Paradox. Uh, on Incineroar, you always want to DI down throw away. Basically every throw, you want to DI away. Because all the throws except down throw, and even then, down throw is kind of reactable, are, unreact are reactable. You can react to you getting suplexed or whirled around or you're back breaking. 
So you always have to DI for the unreactable throw, which in this case would probably be down throw. So just hold away. And if you're at the ledge and you got forward throw, you can obviously react and then not hold away. But I mean, Paradox is doing just a great job of just keeping Burr in disadvantage. Uh, he's getting great damage with Ink, kind of just running around, comboing really well. He just has to not get cheesed, essentially. And this could be it. Like, Incineroar's crazy. If that was a sweet spot, he was super dead. Low risk, high reward. Right now, it's a pretty even game. He should die for this. Ooh, Ooh just barely. But we're thick. Super thick boys. Super thick boys. And Another get one, but not the that... sweet spot. And he might die. No, nah. not even close. Good splat bomb there to try to like get away from Burr. Oh, he's okay, dead. That, that, he's dead. Yeah. Get the back throw, Burr. Also, Paradox not having good DI on that. I mean, he was dead regardless. But you could tell that he wasn't perfect DI because on that throw, you had to just hold straight in. And and he would have gone more to the corner if he did that. But see, this is a good thing about uh, Paradox. He's doing good combos whenever he gets the grabs. So he just has to keep that up and what? not get hit by, like, Revenge Cheese that does 60% to him. That was very good, actually. Avoiding the splat bomb by landing with down or side B. Oops. I didn't want him to get spiked at 30 and die. Hey. Hey. Incineroar needs but that. But Incineroar does need it, for <laughs> sure. I want to say Burr's been taking this character's so a lot of it as neutral exchanges. Very good S smash. This could be it. Nope. It good up B. Burr's okay. actually really good at like up being and knowing the exact distance of smash. Yep. Burr just slightly misspacing that uh, the side B. He's been landing a lot of them landing. Catching a Paradox quite a few times. Yeah. And the winner of this does advance through losers. Yeah, so Paradox. Paradox, okay. He was one, looking one. good. I think, I think he needs to catch on to Burr's bad habits, like I the think... air dodge and revenge. But I think Burr's also doing pretty good at getting damage and, like, kind of scaring Paradox. One thing that costed uh, Paradox at game one was letting uh, Burr essentially move around too much, taking control with his second stock. Burr was playing phenomenal on that second stock yeah. a lot in the first game. And, I mean, we saw it there, like... Burr killed him, grabbed him at, with a revenge side B, yeah, did 70, it. and then a back throw, and he died. So he, he was at 30, and then got hit twice. But okay. see, that's what I'm talking about. He's always revenging or air dodging, and he just needs to bait that out and punish it really hard. Can't get a nice little trade. We have 6 5 already. And, obviously, and I could tell that this is Burr's, like, this is just his go to. Because this is the second time he picks it. There's no particular reason to pick it versus... Probably enjoys it. Yeah, just enjoys it. Or maybe knows something we know. Because, I mean, even if you look at it, let's say Paradox bans Castle and uh, Yoshi's story, Battlefield is a significantly better stage than this for Incineroar. Or maybe even, like, uh, Unova. So, it's just personal preference, which is fine, because it's not a bad Incineroar stage. Good back air. <gasps> oh, but Bird's going to die, yes, but... Indeed. He and he's made at it a deficit, back. though. He's at a deficit. Yeah, he was a deficit, However, but he could have made it back, and he, that's the thing. Even though you could have immediately died, you never know, and you're like, man, what if he could never kill me? Because Inkling kind of struggles with that. And that's the problem with dropping stocks. Good thing, uh, better, I should say, that it was at, like, 140 than zero, but still hurts. You do not want to make it an even playing field versus a character like Inkling that could tie it up really quickly damage-wise. Yeah, so unfortunately he's gonna miss that grab, but he's gonna get the command grab. What the heck? I'm not sure what the animation uh, was. That but... was probably armor, but I don't know if he took damage, oh. but he took ink. I'm I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna say that was a little risky. Giving up a lot of the stage Up control by Is he gonna air dodge or revenge? Trying to get that command grab. Nope. Okay, so he's gonna get juggled a little bit. Okay, so Inkling's low profile on that dash dance. Save him. Okay. Oh, good F tilt there by Burr. If that would have hit, that would have oh, definitely that killed. Disintegrated. That stuff is so strong and sends at a gross angle, too. Ooh, fourth throw. Fourth throw? No. Oh, no. oh, oh. but he DI'd in. And see, that's the thing. He mixed it up. You have to DI for the unreactable throw. If he would have forward thrown, which is a long like Mario back throw animation, he could have reacted, didn't have the DI in to take a true follow-up. Okay, so I think Burr's uh, counter pick uh, kind of just fell through for him right there. Um... He tried to get that angle on the ledge. However, the ledge being a little bit lower, yeah. uh, Paradox standing at the apex is going to get the down smash before he can reach the ledge. Oh, and this is this is the problem. He's going to take so much damage because he's an ink. And Bad Revenge is there. And Burr knows it. You can see it on his face. But 
And Cinderwar is a rage monster. He he does not mind rage. He is not at death percent yet. He's close. Okay, now he is. But a revenge side B and he's back in it immediately. That's a lot. Of, that's gonna be a lot of damage. Yeah. So it should. Ooh, good scooping up smash. Paradox with the pop off. A little pop off. And right Paradox there. making hey. it out of pools over hey, Bird. Top 48. Top 48 loser it. side. I think Bird just. He got impatient. Too, started being too. Uh, what's the word for it? Telegraph. Yeah. A lot of telegraph, a lot of air dodging or a lot of landing with the counter just eventually just stops working after you do about yeah, 10 then, times each. And then the SD doesn't help. Doesn't I mean, help. again, really at 150, but you never know. Maybe Paradox could, yeah, right. couldn't take that.